So, what is up, Skyrim Nation? It's your boy Jelly Bean here for another wonderful grand tour of another state. Today we got Carthside Estate. Now, I'm showing you this at night because just look how beautiful it looks. It's absolutely beautiful. So, it consists of, I think it's four buildings. So, if you're wondering where it's located, I'm just going to turn around. There's Solitude. There's the Solitude docks, and there's Solitude all lit up. And there's the sawmill. So you're right by Solitude. Now, the house doesn't cost any money. There's a small quest. And the quest isn't for the key. Are you ready for this? The, the quest to get the house is for the spoon. You have to go on a small quest to get a spoon in order to get into the place. <laughs> so there's quite a few buildings so we're going to be going through the buildings one by one. So the first building as you can see when I went up to the door is we're going to be going through the forge. So I'll see you inside in the forge. So here we are we're in the forge. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at like the beams and the woodwork. You know, you got everything you need. Little racks for armor. It's really nice because instead of having everything in one building, what it's done is kind of made like a compound where you have different outcrops of building and each building is for a certain, a certain uh, ability. The, the mod author has done a tremendous job. In my opinion, he's done a tremendous job. There is just... Like, look at this. This is what I like, is when the mod authors take the stone and they integrate it with all this beautiful beamwork and woodwork. Unfortunately, none of these weapons you can take. They're just where you access everything, where you store everything, as I'll show you. So if you stored your light armor, it would all be listed here. Which is a shame. I'd like to take some of these weapons. There's some pretty nice weapons here. This is just absolutely beautiful. Now I like this little feature above the smelter, like a little chimney. And as you can see it leads outside of the house, which is really, really nice. Nice little touch. And I like how he's displayed different armors throughout the house. No, we don't want to remove all smithing items, but if you want to remove all the smithing items, I guess you're able to. Then, of course, like I said, it's all named storage. It's just beautiful. So now we'll head to another building and we'll see what the other building offers, shall we? Okay, so now we're in the alchemy lab. Like it's it's just a tremendous amount of detail. Well, of course, there's no recipes. You got to put your own recipes in. But it's just an uh, an amazing, tremendous amount of detail. And again, with the beautiful woodwork and beams, 
Just beautiful. So like I said, instead of having everything in one house, what he's done, beautiful banners, what he's done is he separated it into different buildings. I guess it's where you would chop up all your different ingredients and get them all ready. Look at the detail. He's, he's actually embossed the lead in the glass so it stands out, which is a really beautiful feature. Absolutely beautiful. Now this house, the, you can have six children and a bunch of followers. Oh look, you can even activate that soil over there. Well, isn't that amazing? Well, that is really nice. So this is the Alchemy Lab. So we've seen the forge, we've seen the Alchemy Lab. Now we'll head over to the library. So I'll see you guys at the library. Okay, so now we're in the library, and there's some beautiful details, like banners. Now over here on the floor, look at this. Just absolutely amazing. Store some books. Nice little sitting here. Now look at these features here. These little globes. That's an amazing little touch. Like I've said in previous videos, between paintings and those little tiny touches, that's what really, really makes a mod. So we'll head upstairs first and look at these custom banners. A little dragon skull up there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and please comment, leave a comment to let me know if I'm right. I believe these are the races and birth signs from Oblivion. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what they're for. But look at this as you're coming up. Look what you're greeted with. Now look at this little feature. I love it when the mod authors go that extra mile. I think what he's done in this room is he's given a little nod to Oblivion. All these beautiful, beautiful features. And so what, there is no real armory. What he's done is everything that's unique storage and everything. What he has done is he spread them out through the buildings. So let's head into the basement. Oh my god, I love that right in the center. That is just beautiful. So yeah, I believe these are the birth signs from Oblivion. Look at this display. Look at this. I'll just back up a little bit. Of course, my follower gets in the way. Isn't that amazing? Now, 
Now look at this little feature here. He has definitely gone the extra mile. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That damn one follower, she loves getting in the way. I'm telling you. So remember, this, this is all free. All you have to do is you have to do a little quest where you go and find the spoon. Don't ask me why, but what he's done is you have to go and find the spoon. So that is the library. Like I said, there was quite a bit of detail and just beautiful just beautiful. So now we'll head over to the main house. And I'll see you over in the main house. Okay, so we're in the main house now. How is this for an entrance? And look at the center of the carpet. So this is the entrance. As soon as you walk into the house, this is what you're greeted with. This is what I mean by he spread the, the unique items and displays. He's uh, spread them out throughout all the buildings. Now you had this nice little kitchen dining area, little prep area over there. Very nice. And again with these beautiful, beautiful paintings. Now, I'm not really sure what it means by powerless doomstones were. I should have read it a little bit better. That's my fault. And I guess this is where your house car would stay. It's a beautiful, beautiful sitting area. Everybody should recognize that little feature. <laughs> well, let's head downstairs and we'll see what's downstairs. Downstairs here, I'm not going to open every single door. I'm just going to open the one for now. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to have to open a second one. This is just a little bit of storage. This is what I was looking for. Each follower that you bring into the house will have their own bedroom. So mainly down here, you're going to find a lot of bedrooms. So I know that there isn't uh, quite a lot of um, displays but what he has done with what displays there are he has done a tremendous tremendous job like everything is so so unique And then through here you have a separate shower. And 
then again, like I always say, I love pictures. And then over here you have a separate bath. And then you have your cold storage. There are two stairwells, but only one stairwell heads upstairs. One heads, two, both of them head down to the basement, but only one heads upstairs. So we're going to head upstairs right now. Look at the drapery. So you get to the landing and you have this beautiful sitting area, a little desk to pay the bills. Manage all your monthly expenses. Then in here you have your children's room. As you can see, my lovely children are all sleeping. Well, except for one. But he's getting into bed now. Now look at this feature right here. This is absolutely amazing. That is incredible. And of course, this is the master bedroom. Talk about elegance. Now look at that over the bed, isn't that neat? But look at this bed. And how he's made it come out of the corner, but how he's worked the furniture to fit. Now that is going after the tiny details to the T. Absolutely amazing. This is Carswith Estate. Thank you for your joining me on this little journey through an, uh, yet another house. So, like I said, it's free. The only thing is you have to look for the spoon. Oh, all the kids are awake. What do you guys wander around for? Well, kids are awake. Well, if you're looking for something a little different, give it a try. And thank you for joining me on yet another journey through another house in Skyrim. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road always rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thanks for watching.